Good afternoon. I am here not in advocacy for any particular candidate. So let's make that clear right now. My concern is about a brewing constitutional crisis. It is very clear in Montana statute, and has been for a hundred years, that if you receive money in excess of the campaign laws, that you must return the money. Now, it was clear there was a, there was a judge just a, a little while ago that uh, said, well, he didn't think it necessarily applied. But as soon as the judge actually suggested that, the commissioner of political practices sent a letter to every candidate and said, don't, don't take the money, you'll be putting yourself in jeopardy. Well, I'm not concerned about a candidate's jeopardy. They're on their own. You know, the violation of the law can, would, uh, in, would, uh, would, would oppose a three times damages, which means the candidate would have to pay $1.5 million penalty. Now, that'd be all right. We got about $500 million in the bank, and now we have about $501 million and $500,000 in the bank. That's okay. The problem is this, and here's the legal jeopardy. I, the first week in January, I want to hand Montana's government to the next person who's been elected legally to serve as governor. The problem that we have is the law says that if you violate these campaign limits, then you are not eligible to be the governor, not eligible to serve in that seat. Now, I've given you the legal citations here, but the bottom line is this, that we could easily be in the first week of January and not know who will be the next governor. If this fellow who took the campaign contributions in excess of the limits that are prescribed by law, if this fellow is elected governor, then he's not eligible to serve. Now, there's actually two provisions at that point. One says there would be a special election in 85 days, and the other says it could be the president of the Senate. Now, I don't think there's anybody in Montana would want the chief of the clown show to be the governor of the state of Montana. <laughs> and we haven't any idea what might happen in that Senate. Many of you recall, or have read in the history books, I guess, if you recall it, then you've been taking care of yourself. But William A. Clark, he, he depended on the Montana legislature to become a United States Senator. And he openly bribed with $10,000 in order to be the one who was sent to Washington, D.C. He was sent back home because they said, uh, you can't openly bribe anybody just to become a U.S. Senator. But can you imagine what might happen in the state Senate where you've got just a dozen or two dozen votes required for you to become the next governor? I don't think anybody in Montana wants to be in the situation where we get to the first week in January and you have the current governor of the state of Montana trying to hand the, the reins of government to the next governor, not knowing whether there's going to be a special election, whether it will be the president of the Senate who's not been determined yet. Nobody wants to put ourselves in that position. So, listen, and again, I'm not here in advocacy of any candidate. I am here simply to say that both candidates, if you're receiving more than the campaign limits allow, then you have a legal obligation to send that money back. It happens. Virtually any candidate who's run for office, me included, there have been times when people paid more than they legally could, but as soon as you find out about it, you write a refund check. I, I think we all know that the, the fellow who's running for Attorney General on the Republican side, he recognized that he was in violation of the law. He has returned the money. And so there is a clear precedent set. And the reason we're discussing this in Cascade County, because in 1940, Cascade County elected a man who violated the terms of this of these laws and was removed from office and it was upheld by the Montana Supreme Court. There is a legal precedent here and we are now in the throes of a potential constitutional crisis. So I call on any candidate who's received more than the campaign limits to immediately return the money so that we will not be in a constitutional crisis.